Welcome back to Grill Seekers. It's time to cut the cheese with our special guest, the spaceman, Bill Lee. We're headed uh, due south through Hardwick. We're going to Cabot Cheese. We got an appointment to marry a uh, cheese with my red wine. I'm here with Debbie at Cabot Cheese, and this is the greatest place in the state of Vermont. This is where they take all the dairy products and make it into the things I like best, which is cheese. The thing I like to put cheese on the most is my tongue. Every morning I wake up and I slice up some Hunter's cheese, which is now called Seriously Sharp, or the private stock, and I take two exact slices, I fry an egg in butter, I flip it over, and while it's still warm, I lay the two pieces of cheese on it. I turn off the gas burner. I go over and push down the toaster. I have a half a bagel. I pick the egg up. I put it right on top of that, salt and pepper, and that's what I eat every day before I go to the sawmill. I've been in Vermont since 1988, and Cabot started, and it's gotten bigger. And we're right here, the Cabot Creamery, where it's all made. We have Monterey Jack, Pepper Jack, for people who like a milder cheese that melts very well. Tomato basil. For anybody who loves hot, habanero, yep. chipotle. Chipotle is a jalapeno that's been smoked. That's right. Garlic and herb. How about horseradish? Horseradish is Horses, good for you. That's a good New England flavor. That is a good New England flavor. And these would be our newest. They're hand rubbed. Great for grill seekers. Absolutely. We can rub cheese on it. <laughs> Tiki masala, hot buffalo, and Tuscan. That's got herbs rubbed all over it. Yeah, it's kind of like good. Italian herbs and spices. It's very good. I came up with a wine, and I came here today specifically to marry it up with one of these cheeses. And Debbie suggested the Seriously Sharp because it's a bold wine, and we should have a bold cheese. Absolutely. Seriously Sharp, it has a very strong flavor. It's not for the faint of heart, you know, it wants to bite you back or one of our finest cheeses, Cabot Private Stock, is our Cadillac. It is. So if you want a Cadillac, you need that one. I think it's aged 18 months. At least. Kind of like my wine, but I'm sticking with the Hunters because it's sticking with me. <laughs> it's coming right down right now. See, this is where everybody comes to hide out. Trust me. Would you like to see some cheese being made? Hi, I'm Bill Lee, and we're at Cabot Cheese, and we're going to go Cheese. This is what we call our cheddar hall. Yeah, I hope I'm clean enough for your cheddar hall. Hello? Howdy. The first thing you would see is our cultured packaging room on your left. Cultured packages would be sour cream, yogurt, cottage cheese, dip. We can do a five pound bucket all the way up to a 40 pound bucket. But you don't want to step in the bucket. You want to keep your front shoulder in so you can hit the ball, so don't step in the bucket. Wow. Look at this. Look at this that. is what we call our cheddar room. We're making about 18 vats of cheese a day, five to six days a week. After it thickens, very sharp knives cut it into curds and whey, and it cooks for about an hour. I love it like that because you can melt it on french fries. So that table is curds and whey. I would just say you would take it away. That's right. <laughs> Take it away, John. <laughs> Always follow the curves and way. Go this way. Walk, Walk this, this way. way. <laughs> Everything I learned was in a Mel Brooks movie. Every minute and a half, you'll see a 42-pound block come out of a tower. Unbelievable. It'll be vacuum sealed and go away to age. Then we'll cut it up after it ages. Just like wine. The longer it sits in age, the better it is. Absolutely. Here we go. Always add a bottle of water. My saw, I got two guys with TVs rolling the log. One of them's me. <laughs> the other one's George. That keeps you slim. It does. It keeps me lean, mean all the time. I used to run one of those machines when I was a janitor for the telephone company. See how warm it is? Still radiating heat. Uh, Do you know why you can eat cheddar cheese if you're lactose intolerant? Uh-uh. How? It's a dairy product. How can you eat it? How can you eat? I don't know. Because when you coagulate all the fat, you drain off the whey, and the whey is where the all the milk sugar is. Oh, okay. So it's whey that you need to be careful of. The whey it. has the milk sugar in it. Take so it powdered away. whey. Wow. Cheddar cheese is just no, fat. Just fat. Just fat protein. Love that. 
<clears throat> Once you quit eating sugar and, and we're you back. wean yourself from it, you won't get diabetes. The Athabasca Indians and everybody else, they never had diabetes until the first McDonald's came in. And that's what happened to us. They started eating carbohydrates. And most of the time in the winter, we have nine months of winter and three months of bad ice. So that's, that's Vermont. So you gotta learn to eat what you store in the winter and that's what cheese is. And that's why it's one of the best foods for you. They say butter's bad for you. They're wrong, butter's good for you. That's right. You know, if you work your metabolism right and eat the right products, you know, you're going to burn them all up. What you got to do is have a sound mind and a sound body and control your emotions. Two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bill Lee, and we just cut the cheese. And when we come back, we're going to be chilling and grilling with the spaceman, Bill Lee. More grill secrets coming up.